This is Twit. Oh, about uh, DSD, Direct Stream Digital. This is the digital audio format that is used by the uh, physical disc known as SACD, and it's also now available as a download format. Uh, it's one of what are called one of what are called the high resolution audio formats, which typically means better performance, better sound quality than CD is capable of. Um, Mark, do you have much experience with DSD or SACD, or have you spent much time with those formats? I tried to get into it when SACD came out uh, because I've always been interested in multi-channel audio, and that was one of the things that the format promised. Uh, my, my current opinion on, on DSD uh, kind of aligns with the cynics who say that its impenetrability is what made it appealing to record companies. Uh, and, uh, you know, as you know, in, in studios, nobody is, is mixing and mastering on an all DSD workflow uh, anyway. So it's, right. a, it's a format that you have to convert uh, a project into at the end. And then what you basically do to it is make it uh, more difficult to play back, uh, more difficult to copy. And uh, you, you create a market for specialized players. That's, mm -hmm. that's my take on it. I mean, certainly you can record in DSD, and there are plenty of projects that are recorded directly to DSD, but there are very few tools available to edit, mix, process uh, in, in a DSD format. And so the DSD files, the data, needs to get converted into good old PCM that we know and love from CDs and, and higher resolution formats than that. So, you know, there's, I don't see a lot of need for it. I also, as I said at the beginning, uh, before we started the show, uh, there are those who argue, well, let me first explain a little bit about how DSD works. It's a, it's a digital sampling format, but instead of sampling the waveform in 16-bit chunks or 24-bit words. Uh, it samples in one-bit words, but really, really fast, much faster than um, uh, PCM. So DSD, the, the basic sampling rate is 2.8 megahertz or mega cycles, whereas in PCM, it's 44 kilohertz or 96 kilohertz up to 192 or even 384 kilohertz. That's a lot less than 2.8 megahertz, but it only has one bit resolution. And so there's a process whereby there's a bunch of noise that actually gets generated and what that gets all pushed out beyond 20 kilohertz, just beyond 20 kilohertz. So my understanding goes, and if someone can correct me then that's great. I, I'm always interested in increasing my knowledge. But anyway, if, it, if, it, if all the noise gets pushed out just beyond 20 kilohertz, then you have good, clean, low noise content up to 20 kilohertz, which is the music. And then above 20 kilohertz, you have a bunch of noise. So the question of whether or not that's really a high resolution file is a legitimate question because it doesn't go out beyond 20 kilohertz. Whereas, for example, 96 kilohertz, 24 bit PCM can go out to 48 kilohertz, presumably, and have a very wide dynamic range. So that is a question. Now, DSD sometimes is captured at twice that sampling rate, 5.8 megahertz, uh, which means that the noise gets pushed out twice as far as it did with the with the lower sampling rate. So that could in fact be considered high definition or high resolution. All of these questions swirl around and as Mark said, it's a kind of an impenetrable format. Um, uh, so uh, I forget forget who it was who who said they were down, downloading their first DSD. Please do and give it a listen and see what you think. Mark, you were about to say something? Well, my thought on, on DSD is that it, it, it was meant to appeal through description to to lovers of analog music that it somehow uh, traced the the curve of of the of the waveform more like a, a needle in a record somehow uh, because uh, there were fewer steps because of the higher sampling rate. But 
at least my understanding of, of PCM is that the, those stair steps don't really exist in the translation, that, which is why actually 1644 audio can sound extremely good and that, that, that basically the, the, the bit depth only really translates into a, a noise floor um, dynamic range. Uh, Correct. At, mm -hmm. Now, DSD, you know, by, by, by making the bits go by so quickly, you can say that it, that it basically has a, a higher, uh, well, I mean, it's, it's higher resolution in that theoretical in sense. sense. Yeah, yeah. In some sense, but, it, but it doesn't actually translate into a, you know, a higher maximum frequency or a, a tangibly higher, you know, dynamic range than, than just using high bit PCM. And right. that's, I think, been well proven. So, to me, it's much more elementary. Computers are powerful. Uh, most stuff is being produced in the studio at 2496 PCM, 24192 PCM. And it's relatively easy to deliver that or to deliver it as 1648 with, with a very simple, you know, reduction and, 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 and a bit of dithering. You know, I mean, the, the science behind that is, is pretty well proven. So, what, yeah, when yeah. we're talking about DSD, it's almost like... We're dredging up what we thought of a long time ago before we had computers that could just handle high bit PCM. Now, now when you watch a, a Blu-ray, you know, it's going to be 2448 or 2496 multi-channel audio. And everybody yep. that I know thinks it's the best, you know, and that there would be really <laughs> no reason to have some alternate format that attempts to actually be better than that since it, it just all exceeds what, what human senses could stand if it was actually reproduced in full.